Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome back to another episode of Supreme Lord Ultimate as the United Nations where we are slowly, fingers crossed, grinding down the South Korean army at this point. They can't attack, but we can engage. If I had some good uh, line of sight aircraft, they would be getting deployed by now. And uh, hopefully I'd be doing really well, but I don't have, oh, well, actually, no, you don't have any good, uh, seven kilometers, seven kilometers, and yeah, because I'm in the wrong spot. 45, 7, and 7. And I don't think I have anything that's good. I have this. 61. Yeah, so that's not even good enough, because the range of our artillery is 100. More advanced artillery, it's more AA. Basically, we want to get some good tech here. Like, once these guys can catch up to us and start basically researching the units that I need or want. At 81, we're getting there. Hearing some sinking. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Why not? Here we go. Okay. So this is going to be ridiculous. These guys should start engaging pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> The self-propelled guns that we have have such a ridiculous range on them. That uh, I'm actually going to move these guys back and move all of them up one. What I would like to do is capture this spot and this spot and move my artillery there. Just move to that location, please. The rest of the artillery, yep. You're all gonna move into there. Thank you. 
this <laughs> is how you manipulate the AI. <laughs> Hold on, so now we're going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of you are going to entrench there. You guys are going to entrench there now. If you can. If not, entrench there. These guys will move up and capture that to spot. <laughs> oh, this is just beautiful. That artillery there hit him. <laughs> wow. They're now at 10 million casualties. We almost have them under 2 million. Now I could sacrifice some units maybe. I wonder what I could do to really harm them. Um, derp, I've been forgetting this for a while. We now have 80 intercontinental ballistic missiles. Our target, obviously, is... Ooh, now it's only Northeast Asia only. Interesting. We're going to do a full-on strike of 30 silos. Before we do that, we're actually going to set this to normal. Ready air defenses, advanced artillery, nice. That might be the reason why our artillery is doing so well now. Because we, we have better artillery. We just researched it. Huh. Full on. We're gonna use all thirty silos. We're gonna hit. No, we're we're gonna hit uh, South Korea. Ooh, those are bombers. Those are the missiles. <laughs> so say we fired 30 missiles. 26. Wow, that, uh, that brought their, wait, did that bring it down as far as I think it did? Oh, hold on. We're still getting strikes in? I don't know where these extra strikes are coming from. I'm hearing missiles being fired. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think the aircraft... All can go scrap themselves. More dominators, scrap. No aircraft. So 
I'm pretty sure I lost almost all my aircraft. Maybe with like 90 some odd aircraft. And they're going to go scrap as well. Okay, we're good. So you guys are moving, right? Yep. But look, how many nukes do I have left now after that strike? I still have 20 nukes. Eleven point two and one point Pretty sure there's still some more to come. Or is that it? Eleven point two, one point. Okay, so it wasn't as big as the last one. That's not so bad. Oh, silo launch. We got forty more. Oh, yeah. There's still some more coming in. Base back there was wiped out. Yeah, they're doing good when it comes to all that stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep nuking them. That's the point where I'm. That's that's the point I'm at now. I'm just going to keep lobbing missiles and stuff like that. We don't have the most advanced missiles as of this moment. 163 more days. Yeah, I think I'm going to call for the no more production of the cudgel. Actually, I can just cancel this production, can't I? I can just cancel this production run. Because we bought the tomahawks. So first things first, we're going to order another 40 of you. Now we're at a hundred. Now, now we're at eighty. So now we can build a hundred. Tomahawk T lambs. So they're size four. So they're already smaller, and they're already what twice as powerful. 
Yeah, not quite twice as powerful. When it comes to units, they are. But uh, I'm hoping that they're 880 versus, yeah, they're slower. But they have 1,200 kilometer range. Almost double the range we had before. Boom, there we go. We're building now 100 of those. And we still don't have a good... Um, we do have the land cruise missile. That's right. 1400 range. The thing is, though, is it's only land-based. And I moved over to alternate levels of boominess. So far as South Korea and Indonesia are now back at each other's throats again. Cool. I guess that means you're going to recapture... Yeah, they already did. Wait, does this mean you're going to start sending troops? Interesting. Could this be the distraction I need? I don't know if this will be the distraction I need. Let's get some more sold research this way. There we go, stealth aircraft designs. launch systems I'm hoping soon you guys will start to like have good units so Nepal is joined in the war and Indonesia is basically joined back up So, yeah, we are grinding them down. They have no more military production, so we're going to hit them again. The nukes I don't want to use. I'm going to sell to these guys. Oh, that's it, actually. Phasers! Wait, did you say no? Oh, yeah, you bought them. I thought you were going to say no. So how's South Korea sitting now? 1.1 and 11.3. We're sitting at 1.7. Are we short 40? We're short 40. Am I not building as many tomahawks as I thought? Yes, I'm only building 60.
they have nowhere for their units to rearm and repair. That moment where you're like, oh my gosh. They have nowhere to rearm and repair. Meaning, if I land troops, no matter who I lose, it won't be a big deal. They have no way of taking these anymore. So you guys are all going to see a transport. It's there for now. So meaning the only big problem is their naval forces. I'm pretty sure I can mass enough troops to push through. This is quite the war, I have to admit. I'm actually impressed with how long this war has gone. What I'm going to do is put a cut in here, though, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.